at number five, I'll put Karate Kid. Just, just purely because it, it, I believe it stood the test of time. The experience is still great because the story is fantastic. Um, the, the fight scenes are, it's karate, so it's not the most enjoyable for me specifically, but the, it's traditional to the actual art form. So they were pretty accurate in that regard. And the, the whole storyline behind it was great. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the sequels just now because that'll come up too. <laughs> but that, I would say that, that would go in as my number five. I, I th did you know what I think actually the 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 rule of compounding shitness in movies from a sequel perspective happens tenfold in martial arts movies, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? Because like Karate Kid One was great, Karate Kid Two was decent, Karate Kid Three, ah, and from then on, like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, it, fifty it file of fix, yeah. So it just disintegrates. It's so okay, bad. I, I'm I'm with you on that one though. Okay, uh, my turn. Yeah. Okay. So if, if we had to, if we're going in order, then around mm. there, around five, four, what about the matrix? Oh, you, you, okay. So that one you've thrown in a bit early, I would have gone higher up the list. So the, the, okay. re, the reason I say that once again, we're not bringing, we're talking about matrix one, <laughs> the, 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 the trilogy yes, was yes. decent overall, Correct. but the others are uh, nowhere near number no. one. But the story, the graphics, the uh, martial arts, arts they built into that was one of the most incredible um, movies I've ever seen, and it shaped a generation, literally. Okay, so, okay, let's 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 hold off on that then. Yeah. What about? Oh, speaking of uh, mixed martial arts movies, mm. where do, where would you rank? Never back down. <laughs> so that that one has me so split. It drives me insane. So I enjoyed the movie. I genuinely enjoyed the movie. But when you look at it as a... Mo so from a movie experience, great. I enjoyed it. When you look at it as a martial art, it has destroyed the internet because everyone absolutely hates the movie. <laughs> they, they say from an MMA perspective, it is the shittest content they've ever seen. And a lot of people said they, they stopped the movie early and read the rest on um, online to see what happens in it because they couldn't watch it anymore. It, I, I dug so deep into this because I need to understand like why people don't like it. And it, it was so strange, man. But I, I enjoyed it. But I don't believe it comes in the top five. <laughs> it, it, for me, it can't because do you know how many people I know that haven't seen it? It, it, yeah that's for, true for it's me not a, it's just it never, not mainstream yeah. not, like it didn't change anything it came mm, out to yeah. promote this amazing art form and they didn't do it justice even though i enjoyed it <laughs> kingdom by the way i know i keep hopping on it but if you are into mma <laughs> we, and you want to watch real fucking mma shit kingdom it's that's a the series one. get in there it is a series it's a right? series that's, yeah, yeah okay. it is yeah okay cool so we can't mention it yet <laughs> okay okay so what what what, what would Okay, what so, would your number so, four be? So, so if I had to throw in a movie from the modern day to at least kind of mix it up, it's going to have to be Southpaw. Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't even I, think about I, that I, one. I, I need that in there. For me, in my top five, it's boxing genre, the way they created it, the storyline of it, the acting in it, the, the, the methodness of how he played his role. Um, he was fully trained as a boxer to be able to do that. Um, he did weight cutting. He did. He went through the whole experience to play that role. And the storyline, the uh, boxing scenes, nothing like that for me is the modern day Rocky. Like that is right up there. So that goes in my top five. Southpaw was amazing. It, it, as an overall 100%. cinematic experience, not even just the fight scenes, but the movie itself, the, the, the casting, the production. Mm -hmm. Polished, man. Absolutely polished. <laughs> the soundtrack. Like Eminem did the fucking oh, soundtrack, man. mate. You, you just, every aspect of that movie is just pure quality. So for, okay. for me, that's so a, where, a so number. Hmm. Where, would you, where would you rank that versus the Rocky movies? So for me, the, the, yeah. Um, we have to count Rocky as a full package. Franchise. Yeah, yeah. we can't. It, there's it, like it, yeah, there's, there's too many of them. And they were all, for me, they were all good. 
they they all played their role and top once five? again yeah it's 100 percent in the top five that's on my list for sure um but because i'm that's like beginning of my generation that's not really what we live for uh we enjoyed the movies but it wasn't our time um i would probably make that number three uh well, let's yeah let's go number four actually because i would put matrix just before that at number three and at number two i'd put south Pole because that's that was quality the way it was written it and it's and it's our generation so like that's something we're proud to be a part of. That's the best music we uh, like. That's the music we listened to growing up. That's that's Eminem, man. So for me, Southpaw comes number two. I, I I enjoyed watching it more than watching Rocky. You, I think experience. you're offending. You're offending the boomers, bro. <laughs> the boomers, bro. The boomers are going to be on Facebook being like, "What the fuck are these little idiots talking about?" Like, okay, yeah, but that's the only platform they use. <laughs> on a serious note, like you, 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 your your list is is basically down to number one, which mm-hmm. I'm super interested to, to to hear what you've got. But there's a whole host of things missing here, so I'll tell you okay, what some so, of the ones that that so I've got. So do here. some some honourable mentions, yeah. What about the original Mortal Kombat? <laughs> okay, so as a as a fan of the movie like 100 percent, a huge fan because at the time we thought the graphics and everything was great i've rewatched it it does not stand the test of time <laughs> i don't know it, man like the horrible. fight scenes the, the the for me that was the one of the original successes of bringing a video game to life we think about other ones yeah. i was tekken tekken was fucking average street fighter was an absolute joke street fighter that falls by the way in the opposite side of the scale that is actually in my bottom five they okay, ruined okay. they ruined a franchise so we'll they ruined no. it. <laughs> but mortal kombat like the original mortal kombat from 1995 um with man, the technology i, they I can had. still watch that today and oh man i, I don't know that. I don't, okay but can but, you see okay, replacing not, so, anything on the list that i said though <laughs> that's my big question because there's no I, way it's I coming would, number one and I would say Mortal Kombat could challenge Southpaw for. for mm. Mm, I think it could, but wait, let me uh, let me let me sprout off some others here. Okay. What about blood sport and kickboxers, Jean Claude Van Damme? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what straight watch, up? What watch, watchability is hurtful. The the cinematic around it is terrible. The the, I mean, him as a martial artist, fantastic. It's he just didn't have the best team around him to shoot those movies. So if if you're gonna go that deep into like martial arts and like they really focused on the martial art of it, then I would put put in some honorable mentions like Undisputed, like um That's uh, with Wesley Snipes. Uh yeah, uh, um what's the other one with Jay White? Um Michael J. White, Blood and Bone. Uh, uh Blood and Bone. Oh man, like those are like Dude, underground undisputed. movies. And disputed. disputed were fucking good with uh, Yuri Boyka. Yeah, exactly. So th- those for me is honorable mentions because they focused on the fighting of it. They, um, it didn't go big because the cinematic part of it wasn't based on that. Like they weren't trying to turn it into a blockbuster. But if you watch it for the fight purist, that was enjoyable. Like I, I loved those movies, but it it would it didn't shape a generation. It didn't add anything like d- do you know once again do you know how many people i know would you wouldn't even know that undisputed exists so uh, like that that's where things get a little bit interesting so okay let's let's, let's get to the fucking bottle of, no let's get to the bottom of the <laughs> okay, time no, i need, I need is, to know your number one and then i'll give you mine okay and and there is unequivocally absolutely not a single doubt about this in my mind and if there is a doubt of, <laughs> doubt about it in anybody else's mind who is listening or watching including mm. yourself craig oh. then fucking check yourselves <laughs> check yourself this is, this is i hope you're gonna say the right thing otherwise it's gonna be a fuck you moment <laughs> the greatest martial arts movie that has ever been made of all time of all time mm. is, is bruce lee enter the dragon oh i knew you were gonna say it i can't I can't. I, I'll, Come at me, bro. Come I'll, at me, bro. I'll give it to you that that replaces something on the top five list. Hundred percent replaces something on the top five list because it, it was it, it. Yes, it has one of the best fight scenes of all time. Hundred percent. 
like it, it blows your mind how good that fight scene is as a movie i don't think it is number one i, I can't give you cinematic experience can't give you like the fight overall Every, it doesn't match up for me so if, from a storyline point of view either like it, it's a decent storyline it's not the best there's not hey, enough you, depth to you, it do you realize this movie was made in 1973 yeah by one of the best martial artists to ever live you should have done better so <laughs> yes, but if i could punch your face oh, through the screen no listen i loved enter the dragon it was one of the i mean we we had the dvd at the house we used to watch it i mean it was incredible so if you, yes if you, I'll speak, give it to you, top if five. you speak about a movie standing the test of time yeah. there is no rival uh, you want to bet okay here's Hit number me. one here's number one best martial arts movie that wasn't based on a martial art. It had the best storyline, best twist, stood the test of time, changed a generation, and is still spoken about. And no one can get away from how good that movie was. It has to be Fight Club. It has oh to my be. Word. You must be joking. <laughs> it has to be. You must be absolutely be. so when it... far up your own ass. <laughs> when we talk about a if martial arts being raw and why people watch martial arts and watch UFC and watch these things on TV, it's because of how raw it is and people literally beat the shit out of each other. This movie had the most intricate storyline, had the most mind-blowing twist, and the fight scenes were just people literally beating the living shit out of each other. It was Okay, raw. you know what I'll give you? I'll give you the rawness and the realness and the authenticity of that film. And... <laughs> And it, it, uh, maybe that could slide somewhere into my top five. But <laughs> the greatest martial arts movie of all time, Fight Club? <laughs> Dude, we need to go back to recording at our, our usual time because you must be either drunk or you just woke <laughs> up or I don't know what, what the fuck's going on it's, in your mind, bro. Dude, the fight scenes were so average, right? It was real, basically replicating the realness of street fighting for example but okay. so fucking average brad pitt for god's sake are you having a laugh and and your Look story in that was great. movie <laughs> the twist was great great movie great movie great great movie great cinematic experience but martial the they, greatest they, martial arts no, film no, of no, all no. time we, over into the dragon craig oh is that so you hard. is that <laughs> fuck off it's <laughs> the, the 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 thing is they wrote that literally for a generation of anarchists the whole story was told based on this chaos and they brought it into an underground fight it was people who didn't follow any rules they wanted to live outside of society and they walked in and they're like let's just be like men just beat the shit out of each other and create a whole underground community based on it 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 was incredible as a movie experience you walked out of that movie mind blown and you cannot get away from that so for me it's in my top fight five fight movies maybe in martial arts i'm not a big martial arts person it's fight movie that that for me is what encapsulates a pinnacle of a movie experience and i can watch it today and it'll be just as good as it was the day it came out okay so let's do this craig seems it seems we're at an impasse <laughs> let's put it to the listeners okay. let's put it to the viewers right and mm -hmm. we, we're gonna run we're gonna run a fucking poll on the facebook page okay. we're, gonna, we're gonna do we'll this do we're gonna say let's hear from everyone out there <laughs> what movie as a martial arts movie was better okay enter the dragon or fight club okay and are that's we, as a, let... and that is a holistic movie experience and a movie that has stood the test of time I correct agree. we let cool. we let uh, we let the people decide bro. listen to the kids bro <laughs>